Hi everybody, my name is Caelan McBride. I am a professional magician and I'm really excited because today for the afternoon club, I am going to teach you a magic trick. So here is the trick. You're going to need a pack of cards. It doesn't have to be a full pack of cards, okay? If you have a handful of cards lying around the house, that's great, use those. Uh, maybe up to about 20 cards would be good, but this pack is a full pack of cards. I also have here a helper. Uh, today I've got my daddy. This is my daddy. Uh, whoever is at home with you, you can use that person for the trick, okay? Now, my daddy's going to be helping me. Uh, I have my playing cards. I also have this strange prediction. A prediction is what I think is going to happen at the end of the trick. This particular prediction is full of strange symbols and some smiley faces, okay? It doesn't make sense at the minute, but it might at the end. In a second, I'm going to ask you to name a number for me, okay? It can be any number between 1 and 52, because there are 52 cards in a pack of cards. If you've only got a few cards at home, say you only have 20 playing cards, then you would ask for a number between 1 and 20, okay? In fact, let's just go with 1 and 20, it'll be a bit quicker, all right? So name any number that you like, please, between 1 and 20. Um, 12. 12, good choice, your decision. In a second, I'm going to turn around and face the other way. I want you to take the cards and count 12 cards onto the table, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. When you've got to your number, 12, you look at that card, remember it, and show the camera. Okay. Okay. You can then get rid of the card, put it in the pack, you can shuffle these up if you want to. Understand? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Take the cards, I'll turn around, you count to 12. Out loud, please. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. Pick up the twelfth card, look at it. Remember it and show it to the camera. And you can put that card back anywhere in the pack. Gather the pack together and you're ready. Okay. Done? Yes. Excellent. You now have a card in your mind. At home, you know what my dad's card is. I don't know, but remember, we have the prediction, the strange symbols. This prediction has been on the table the entire time since before a card or number was selected. Let's take a closer look at the prediction. Can you see your card anywhere <clears throat> on that prediction there, Dad? No. No? Okay, let me give you a hand. Watch this. If I fold the paper, into thirds like this. I want you all to look at the bottom of the paper now. We have four of diamonds. Was that your card? That's the card, yes. The four of diamonds. <clears throat> Now for the big secret. Let's start with the prediction. Before you perform this trick, you need to have your prediction ready. And all you need is a blank piece of A4 paper and a pen. First thing you need to do is fold the paper in the correct way. We're going to fold it into thirds, but not exactly. I'll show you. You take your paper, and fold it so that there is a line here, right there. When you've done that, 
you want to write your playing card between here and here. That's this upper part and the lower part. Now I use the four of diamonds because the four of diamonds is easy to draw with just simple straight lines. If we were to use a card, say clubs, that's the curly ones, and an eight, we're using circles then. We want to keep it straight. The straighter the lines are in our prediction, the more confusing it will be to your audience member. Let's draw a four of diamonds. When you've drawn your four of diamonds, open the paper up again. And what you want to do is fill in the rest of the page with random shapes and lines. So you'll start with down at the bottom and anything that you do here, do not do it on the lower section. Do it above where you've written four of diamonds. You can draw anything. Use your imagination. I've done a circle. Uh, I've turned that into a little curly hair hat. Uh, on top, you draw here, underneath the prediction. I've turned that into a little smiley face. As you can see, I've used just a black marker. But if you're at home, why not colour it in? Be creative, come up with anything you like. As long as you disguise your original drawing, the four of diamonds. Remember when you're doing this, you don't want to draw over that prediction. Anywhere in between is best. So the one that I used earlier with my dad, it looked like this. You see, I drew some faces here, a nice face there. That's confusing for people. And these are just random symbols, just things I come up with myself. You can draw anything at all. As long as when you fold it down, they can clearly see at the bottom of your prediction the four of diamonds. Now that you have your prediction made, it's time to learn the card trick. What's the secret? How do we know that they're going to pick the four of diamonds? The answer is you are going to make them pick the four of diamonds. Here's what you do. Go through your pack of cards, take out the four of diamonds, then place that card on top of the pack. That's the top of the pack. Leave it there and you're ready to go. When you perform the trick, ask them to name a number. When I did it for my dad, he named the number 12. As soon as they give you a number, you count to that number, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then you lift all of the cards that you counted and place them back on top of the pack. What this does is this places the four of diamonds to the twelfth position in the pack. So when you hand the pack of cards to your assistant, to the person that's helping you with the trick, they count to their number when your back's turned. And when they do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When they look at the twelfth card, it will be the four of diamonds. At home, you don't have a full pack of 52 cards. Don't worry, you can still do this trick. Let's say you only have uh, 20 cards. That's fine, use those 20. But what if there isn't a four of diamonds in those 20 cards? That's okay too. Your prediction card doesn't have to be the four of diamonds. It can be any card in the pack of cards that you have as long as you can draw that prediction onto your folded piece of paper. So your card might not be the four of diamonds. You might decide to use, oh, there's one, the ace of diamonds. That might be an idea. 
Maybe you could use a king of diamonds. You might not even want to use diamonds at all. Maybe you think you could draw out two of spades. It's up to you, whatever you have in your pack of cards at home. Parents, give your kids a hand with this. Help each other. And remember, practice the trick before you do it. Lots of practice will make it easier and more fun for you. Enjoy. Enjoy.